Right, boys and book girls, we're going to talk about your name. So, you will see on the front of your books, and sometimes when you get a piece of paper to do a special bit of work, it will have the word name on it. And then you need to write your name next to the word name. So that's the word that says name. Now, the reason why I've used purple is because purple, long, long ago and still today, is known as a very important color. So lots and lots of kings and queens and people who lived in palaces and people who were very rich and important wore purple robes or purple clothes or they had purple on their crowns or they sat on purple thrones. So when we speak about our names, they are very important and it's important not to make fun of people's names or to call them ugly names. Because our names have been specially chosen for each of us. So, some of you before you were born, your mommies and daddies had in mind that they were having a lovely little boy or a little girl and they chose a name that was special to them. Some of your mommies and daddies only chose your name when they saw your beautiful face. And some of you have got family names. And some of your names have special meanings within your family. And so your name is very important. And like in your sight words, I showed you that the word I is very important. So it is written with a big letter. And we call a big letter... A capital letter. So we're going to make that important. And then a small letter looks like that of I. So it's the letter I and that makes the word I and it's important because it's speaking about someone. Now, if we look at the word boy, Or the word girl okay let's just move it up a bit for you these are just ordinary boys and girls they could live anywhere in the world we don't know who they are we're not saying that boy or that girl it's just boy or girl so they are any boy and any girl. So they have small letters to start. But I told you that your name is important. And as soon as you give this boy a name, let's say his name is Tom, then it becomes important. You don't always have to write it in purple, but the first letter and only the first letter of your name gets a capital or a daddy letter, a big letter, like I, right? Then any girl has a small letter, but as soon as you give a girl a name, then that name is special, so it must have a capital letter. And let's make the girl's name Mary. Okay, and there's a capital or a big letter to start. So this is very important to remember when you are writing your name. Only the very first letter 
of your name should have a big letter or a capital letter is the better word for it and the rest of the letters should be small letters. So I'm going to use some of the names in our class. I'm going to start with Joshua. So the J of Joshua, a small letter looks like that. But we are not using the small letter. We are using the big important letter because Joshua is a special name for a boy in our class and it needs to be a big letter or capital letter. So the rest of them are all small letters. So we don't start with a small letter. We start with a big letter. Let's have a look at one of the girls' names. Let's think of Addison. So, small letter. I'm just going to move it up a bit. And then we don't use the small letter. Oh, I keep putting the lids back on these cookies. We don't use a small letter. We use the big letter and then the rest, the capital letter, the rest are small. Addison. Right. Joshua is a boy in our class. <clears throat> Addison is a girl in our class. But Joshua is a special name of a boy in our class and Addison is a special name of a girl in our class. So remember that when you write your name, only the first letter of your name and your surname must have capital letters. Right, let's see now. If you can take your cookie and you can write your name <clears throat> as well as you can without looking at it anywhere and then ask mom or dad to check it for you on your board. But I'd like you to write it three times. So you're going to write your name one, two, three times, your first name, and if you can, I would very much like you to write your surname next to it too. And remember when you start your name, big letter, the rest are small letters. And then when you start your surname, your second name is big letter and the rest are small. Right, uh, moms and dads, I hope you have a very proud moment when you check how your boys and girls are writing their names.